1,000 euros per day is the income of the President of the European Commission. In one of the European countries, parliamentarians earn nine times more than the national average salary. In this video, we will see the top 10 European countries where politicians earn the most, and we will also take a look at the members of the European Parliament and the European Commission. This ranking is based on the gross base salaries of the members of Parliament from each European nation. In the final bonus, we will explore the 10 European countries where parliamentary salaries are much higher than the national average salary. Welcome to this new video by Amazing Europe. Number 10, Denmark. Let's clarify that all the salaries we will mention in this video refer to the gross base salary that a politician receives. To this, we must add all the allowances, reimbursements, and other additional compensations. It would have been impossible to rank the countries while considering these additional compensations because they vary significantly from country to country. A Danish member of parliament receives a monthly compensation of approximately 60,000 Danish kroner, which is about 8,000 euros. Additionally, there is a non-taxable expense allowance of 780 euros per month for those residing in Denmark and 1,000 euros for members elected in Greenland or the Faroe Islands. If the parliamentarian does not reside in Zealand, the island where Copenhagen is located, the parliament provides accommodation or an additional 12,000 euros annually. Even if the parliamentarian is not re-elected, they still receive a salary for an additional 12 or 24 months. After one year of membership in parliament, they are entitled to a pension starting at the age of 60. The maximum pension is 4,300 euros per month. These figures are staggering for many of us. Yet the base salary of a Danish parliamentarian is not significantly higher than the national average salary, or at least there are many nations that fare worse, as we will see in the final bonus. Number 9, Belgium. The gross monthly salary of a Belgian federal parliamentarian is approximately €8,500. To this base remuneration, additional allowances of around €2,500 must be added. These allowances are not subject to taxes and are not even justifiable. Therefore, parliamentarians receive the lump sum amount without the need to demonstrate how these sums were spent. The highest parliamentary salary in Belgium would be that of the President of the Chamber, who takes home a net amount of €13,200 per month. In reality, even though these salaries may seem high, a Belgian parliamentarian earns twice the average gross salary in Belgium. Consequently, this country will not appear in the top 10 we will reveal at the end of the video on European countries with the greatest disparity in earnings between politicians and the general population. Number 8, United Kingdom. The United Kingdom will also not feature in the top 10 countries with the largest difference between the national average salary and that of politicians. However, this should not lead us to believe that parliamentarians are struggling. The base salary of a British parliamentarian is approximately £91,300 per year, equivalent to a gross monthly salary of €8,900. Their most recent salary increase was in April 2024, amounting to 5.5% more than the previous year. Over the last 10 years, parliamentary salaries in the United Kingdom have increased by 36.2%. We would like to ask those following us from the UK how much their salary has increased in the last 10 years. However, in recent years, several politicians have claimed that their salary is too low for the current cost of living. One parliamentarian stated that it is truly sad to live on just £82,000 per year. An ex-minister pointed out that divorce costs for high incomes could exceed £100,000, leading them to leave the government position for a more lucrative employment opportunity. What are your thoughts? Number 7, Netherlands. Although it ranks in this top 10, the salary of parliamentarians in the Netherlands is not significantly higher than the national average salary. According to OECD data, the Dutch earn an average of €4,200 gross per month, while their parliamentarians earn just over twice that amount. Of course, we are talking about the base salary. When accounting for vacation allowances and year-end bonuses, the monthly base salary increases to approximately €10,300. The President of the House of Representatives earns an additional €3,000. Naturally, these compensations include other expense reimbursements. In the unfortunate event of a parliamentarian's death, the surviving spouse and children receive an amount equal to three times the deceased member's monthly allowance. The Prime Minister's salary is approximately €190,000 in 2024, which includes 8% holiday pay and 8.3% year-end bonus. 
Number 6. Ireland. The salaries of TDs, that is the members of the Irish Parliament, have increased by €3,600 in one year. Irish parliamentarians earn a base salary of nearly €9,300 gross per month. To this, various expenses, such as travel costs, must be added. The travel and accommodation allowance can range from €9,000 annually for TDs living within 25 km of Berlin to €34,000 for those living more than 360 km from the capital. This allowance is paid even if a TD has an apartment or other accommodation in Dublin or stays with family or friends. Irish ministers, in addition to their salary as TDs, receive an additional compensation of nearly €90,000 per year for their specific role in the ministerial cabinet. Number 5. Iceland. Here we face a paradox. Iceland is one of the European countries where parliamentarians earn more, but when considering the national average salary, it is one of the nations where they are paid less. Icelanders earn an average of about €5,900 per month, while their parliamentarians earn about €3,600 more. We are talking about only 1.6 times more than the national average salary. Of course, we must remember that we are only discussing the base salary of parliamentarians, without considering various allowances. In 2023, Icelandic politicians wanted to increase their salary by 6%. However, there were many protests throughout Iceland, and they settled for a 2.5% increase. Following these increases, the salary of the Icelandic Prime Minister reached about €17,000. Iceland was seen as a place where politicians enjoyed the trust of their citizens. Then came the financial crisis of 2008, and everything changed. The trust of Icelanders in their politicians collapsed and struggles to fully re-emerge. A recent study shows that Icelanders have regained trust in the competence of their politicians, but not in their integrity. Number 4. European Parliament. If the European Parliament were a country, it would be in fourth place in Europe. According to the European Parliament's website, the monthly salary of an MEP is €10,075 gross and €7,854 net. This leads MEPs to earn 3.6 times more than the average salary in the European Union. Each country then imposes an additional tax, and for this reason, the actual salaries of the deputies differ depending on the country of origin. All allowances must also be added. We are talking about €4,950 per month, useful for covering expenses such as hardware, smartphones, and internet subscriptions. They are also given a daily subsistence allowance of €350 Euros to cover accommodation expenses on their official travels. Regarding health, deputies are entitled to reimbursement of two-thirds of the medical expenses incurred. The salaries of European politicians, not just parliamentarians, increased twice in 2022 alone. The base salary of the President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, is €31,250 gross per month, about €1,000 per day. Number 3. Austria. According to data from the Austrian Federal Assembly, as of January 2024, a parliamentarian receives a base salary of about €10,350. These salaries are constantly increasing due to inflation. In fact, there has been a recommendation from the federal government to the various Austrian federal states to increase the salaries of politicians to cope with inflation. There is talk of a 9.7% increase that should be there this year. With this increase, the federal president should earn just over €29,000, while ministers €21,000 gross per month. Of the various Austrian regions, it seems that only in Bergenland there have been no increases. In addition to these figures, various expense reimbursements must obviously be added. For example, there are travel expenses, which vary depending on how far the politician is from Vienna. If it is more than an hour from the capital, the maximum remuneration due increases by about €4,200 per year for every half hour of travel. For parliamentarians with an average travel time of three hours, the maximum annual salary due is €25,500. Number 2. Italy. If you ask an Italian what they think of the salary of their politicians, they would surely talk for hours. And they wouldn't be all wrong, considering that Italian parliamentarians earn more than four times the national average salary. And we are talking about the base salary of parliamentarians, without counting all the allowances. According to data from the Italian parliament, a deputy earns about €10,500 gross per month, and members of the Senate earn even more. 
Some time ago, the gesture of an Italian parliamentarian who waved his pay envelope in the parliamentary chamber caused a stir in Italy, stating that the €4,800 net he was taking was not a golden salary. Several journalists then pointed out to him that he had not counted all the allowances. Parliamentarians are entitled to a daily allowance as reimbursement for accommodation expenses in Rome, expenses for transport and travel, medical expenses, telephone expenses, and various other expense reimbursements. In total, they exceed €11 Euros net per month. To all this are added various benefits and exemptions, such as passes for free motorway, railway, maritime, and air circulation for transfers within the national territory. Moreover, at Christmas 2022, Italian deputies thought it well to give themselves a nice Christmas present by doubling the bonus for buying tablets, smartphones, 34-inch screens, earphones, and PCs. This bonus has gone from €2,000 to €5,500. Before revealing the number one and also which are the 10 European countries with the largest difference between the salary of parliamentarians and the national average salary, if you found this video informative, we invite you to like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell so you don't miss new videos. This gesture costs you nothing, but it would be very useful for us to spread our project. Thank you very much. Number 1. Germany. Even though Germany is in first place regarding the base salary of its parliamentarians, it does not fall among the 10 European nations with the largest difference between the salaries of parliamentarians and the national average salary, as we will see in the final bonus. Each of the approximately 700 members of the Bundestag, the German parliament, receives almost €10,600 Euros gross per month as a base salary. To this, various expense reimbursements must be added. Each member of the Bundestag receives €4,700 Euros per month tax-free. This lump sum covers all the necessary expenses for the exercise of the mandate, such as office supplies or residence in Berlin. The salaries of the federal chancellor are obviously higher. We are talking about approximately €20,000 per month. Since Olaf Scholz is also a member of the German Bundestag, he also receives a deputy's allowance. In total, he earns just under €30,000 gross per month. Ministers, in addition to their salary, receive additional compensation because they are also parliamentarians. In this way, they earn about €19,000 per month. If the one on the left is the ranking we have just seen, on the right you can see the 10 European countries with the highest difference between the base salary of a parliamentarian and the national average salary. We have also included transcontinental countries. In the right column, you can also see how many times the salary of parliamentarians exceeds the national one. At the top, we find a transcontinental country, Turkey. Here the base salary of a parliamentarian is nine times higher than the national average salary. If you want to know which are the countries where the salaries of parliamentarians are closer to the national ones, write it in the comments. If many of you ask, we will make a video on the subject. And we assure you that you will have some big surprises. In the meantime, you can watch a video on the 10 European countries with the highest salaries, which you find at the top right of the screen. That's all for this video. See you next time.